Desmond, you're in Atlanta, huh? Oh yeah. Awesome. Atlanta. <laughs> Man, I love Atlanta. I actually uh, lived in Atlanta in the summer of 2011. I was doing an internship for AT&T and I lived in these apartments called Parkside at Buckhead. It was on Buckhead Avenue. And I went back and they totally bulldozed it and made it a huge high rise now. So lots of real estate developments happening in Atlanta, I would say. Yeah, they're doing that a lot right now. <laughs> yeah. But man, that was a fun summer. Atlanta's a fun city. Yeah, but it could be expensive, trust me. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You got to pay for those high rises somehow. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's cool. So where are you in Atlanta, the city? Or are you on the outskirts or where are you I'm at? I'm kind of like on the outskirts of Douglasville. So I'm okay. about like 15 minutes out. Okay. And then do you do your investing over there too? I do it pretty much uh, yeah, in the Atlanta area, south, uh, southwest Atlanta, Marietta, you know, on, yeah. the, on the west side, yeah. Oh, real quick. I just had flashbacks of uh, going to get that soda at the World of Coke. And oh, it's yeah. called the, you know, they've got the fountains with like 134 sodas from all these different countries. And uh, I just had flashbacks of drinking the Beverly. It's like so bitter. You can't even keep your eyes open while you're drinking it. You know what I'm talking about? You yeah, I went there actually last year with the family, man. I tasted a bunch of them. The best one that I found was, I think, one from Africa or somewhere. It, it was so good. And yeah. It's, it's too bad you can't find it here in the States. That's right. You just got to keep paying money to go back to the world <laughs> of Coke. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, no, that's cool because they had, like, different fountain areas for each country, which was really neat. Yeah, yeah. Real cool. Yeah. All right, so you're uh, you're you're on the outskirts in Douglasville, you said. Mm -hmm. All right, right. doing your investing on other outskirt areas too. Interesting. What's your what's your ideal house? Like, how much is that? Uh, would would a house that you? Uh, well, first of all, how many deals have you done? Have you are you just getting started? Uh, just getting started. Uh, the okay. first one I recently closed. Uh, that was my first one, and then I'm actually about to close another one here on the 14th. Woohoo! That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and that's going to be a 20k profit right there oh man dude that's that's really game changing it is life that's a lot of money <laughs> tell me about the first one how'd you get started uh with the deal machine app driving for dollars uh, just driving by saw a house looking stressed you know car uh boarded up windows uh yard not maintained so i took a picture of course and uh came home did a little research on the prop stream app you know, found an owner and all that stuff and found out it had good equity in it. So I went ahead and sent the postcard out because I uh, didn't have a good contact number for him. And uh, on, like on the third try, the third mail out, the guy finally called me. It was like, hey, I'm tired of this property. I just need to get it off my hands because it was his dad's property. And uh, his dad died like five years ago and he's been paying the mortgage on that thing. And I mean, it was like the worst house I've ever seen in my life. But uh, he was in a bad situation as well. Uh, the house was actually about to go into foreclosure. Okay, gotcha. So, more than, you know, wanting to make a profit out of it, really. I just wanted to help this guy out and not mess his credit up, you know. And I felt like, you know, when you do good by people, it'll come back to you. And then that next week, that's when I got that 20K deal. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So, um how many properties did you uh, add at the point where you actually got the uh, that first deal? Uh, myself, probably about a good 20. Okay. 20 to 30 properties. Yeah. Dude, you got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I just try to pick them out right. Uh, you'd be surprised. Like, I mean, you probably already know. Like, a lot of people never call you back, and the house just sit right. there forever. You know, I got a cousin. He drives for FedEx. So, he's on my team, and he'll go around taking pictures you know, for me since he's doing it anyway. Yeah. I haven't yielded anything off of that yet, but yeah, you got to send out a lot. You know, you do. Yeah. I don't want you to get discouraged if it takes a while to get the next one, but you've already got two, which is insane. <laughs> and you've only added 20 or 30. So, uh, keep doing what you're doing, man. It's working. Oh yeah. Uh, a lot of times it takes, it takes several hundred that we see in order to get oh, one. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I've seen those emails. Yeah. I sent out like 200. I know we've got to beat it into the ground because so many people will try the app and they'll add 30 and then they'll be like, Oh, I didn't get any deals. And it's like, well, you didn't do enough at all. You've got to do a certain number, you know, it's a number. Yeah. But I'm really, I mean, obviously there's exceptions like yourself. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, I follow max and stuff. So a lot of it, you know, like they say, it's being persistent, you know, you can be one postcard away from a deal. So, you know, you just keep sending it out and you just never know, you know, you might For sure. get it. For sure. 
Yeah, dude, that's great. Um, wow. What, what, what was there any like uh, trouble that you had doing these deals? Like any roadblocks, anything come up where they were like, ah, we're not doing it anymore. Uh, work through? No, no, not, no, no roadblocks as far as, you know, this is concerned. I did have a seller, uh, <laughs> I was selling the house for it and, you know, found out how much I was going to be making off of it. So she started getting cold feet. So mm. I uh, started to go down there and put a affidavit memorandum on there and cloud the title. <laughs> But, you know, it didn't come down to it. Uh, it was a duplex, actually. Uh, but come to find out, the city had rezoned it. Okay. And it was no longer a duplex. You had to do so much. I mean, it probably can't be rezoned as a duplex anymore. Gotcha. So that, that one went away. But, I mean, you know, you live and you learn. For sure. Well, um, any words of advice for anybody listening to this, talking about, you know, how you got started or where you picked to invest, what types of properties you added, anything like that, Desmond? Uh, as far as getting started, I um, wanted to educate myself, all right, as much as I could. But the, the main thing is to start. You're not going to get it right all the time. But if you don't start, you'll never win anything. Yeah. You know, and be persistent. Don't give up. Because like I said, you may be one deal, one card away or one phone call away from that deal. And then once you get that deal, it, it gives you that juice, that momentum, you know, it's like, oh, I can duplicate this over and over again. And then, you know, it, it becomes addictive because you know that the, the end game, you know, it could change your life. Yeah. Um, you know, fortunately for me, I'm, you know, I'm in the military and I'm about to retire here soon. So this is what I'll be doing full time. So I'm not really pressed for the income, but it's coming in and, you know, it's going to be an easier transition. That's all, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and I try to look for like three bedrooms, you know, minimum, because uh, two bedrooms are harder to find and they're not as worth as much because people aren't looking for them. But that's what I generally look for, a single family or duplexes right now. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nice. Yeah. Well, there you go, everybody. Spitting fire. Oh, yeah, Doing man. Doing deals. And I, and I never thought I would have been on this, man. <laughs> really? <laughs> I see people do it all the time, man. You know, getting an interview, like, man, that's awesome, man. To actually be doing this, man, it, it's definitely a great how feeling. How does it feel? Yeah, how does it feel? Oh, it's, it's it's unbelievable, man. Even, you know, just that one, that first deal, you know, I've had, uh, when you know, when I list my houses and stuff, I've had, I'd have new people call me, you know, wholesalers. And then off the bat, you know, they're a wholesaler because, you know, they don't have that confidence and everything in them. So I asked him, hey, you just started. And the guy was like, uh, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> he just called and uh, he was like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting any traction with it. You know, and I just told him, hey, don't give up. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, just kind of motivate them because it's easy to get discouraged and be like, oh, it don't work. You know, but, you know, I'm living proof it does work. You just have to stay persistent, you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a lot of wholesalers out there. You see it all the time, you know, but, you know, they, they give up too soon. Mm -hmm. you know, so they you do give up too going. soon. That's exactly what I was talking about because uh, they'll just add 30 properties and then they won't get a deal yet and then they'll give up. Yeah, they'll put out some bandit signs. Hey, nobody called me. You know, you got to keep going. Right. It's all about timing, you know. Somebody will bite eventually, but just keep going. That's the key. Yeah, you've got to approach it from a long-term perspective and be committed to doing whatever it is you're going to do, whether it's bandit signs or whether it's driving for dollars. You've got to commit to doing it for a certain amount of time in order to be successful. Yeah, and I'm uh, actually thinking about going to do Uber too. I might as well have people pay me <laughs> to drive around. While you're driving around, around for dollars. Yeah, I can look yeah you can do so. that for sure. <laughs> so I'll make it work one way or the other. That's great. Yeah, it's, it's cool, man. That's great. So what's yeah. next for you? What are you going to do with that cash when you get it? That, especially uh, that $22,000 deal. I'm going to put it back into the business. All okay. of it. Cause uh, I wanted to get onto the on care website. Yep. You know, drive traffic to me instead of me going to find that. Yep. Um, I think it'll be more valuable, you know, save me some time. And plus, you know, people to contact me that want to buy, mm -hmm. or want to sell, mm -hmm. you know, so or need to sell, I should say. So I, I think that'll be a, a game changer and I'll, I'll definitely triple or quadruple my money from that, you know, and maybe do a little bit more direct mail pieces. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I'm trying to take myself out of the business. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. And uh, get some VAs from the Philippines. <laughs> uh -huh. um, what would you have your VAs do? I'll do my cold. They'll do my cold calling. Okay. Um, uh, you know, I, I'll filter a certain list and just have them hit it up. 
you know, set the appointments, then I'll go out and uh, do the appointments, do the sale and get the contract. Yeah. And then after a while, I plan on having somebody else to do acquisitions and things like that. Like I said, I want to take myself out of it. Yeah, you know what I mean? for sure. That's yeah. great, man. Keep us posted on how things go. If you get another deal, um, let us know. We're going to text you when this goes on our YouTube channel. So that way okay. you'll know. Yeah, yeah that's cool, I'm going to send you a hat. I'm going to send you a, a free deal machine hat. All right, that's what's up, man. I'll be looking forward to it. I'll wear it for you. <laughs> oh, man. Heck yeah. You can pick out whatever you want, honestly. But we just want to give you something for free, uh, just as a little token of just saying thanks for using Deal Machine and uh, to celebrate with you. Okay, well, David, I, I definitely appreciate it, man. And hopefully, we'll be chatting real soon. <laughs> that sounds great. See you, Desmond. All right, David. Take it easy. Hey, you too. All right, bye. Bye bye.